Welcome to Lead Follow. I'm Lee, and today we're going to be doing a replacement oil control valve on the GT86. Okay, so on the front of the GT86 engine, there are four oil control valves, which are sometimes referred to as the variable valve timing solenoids. What happens is as these get older, or if the car's not been maintained very well, the dirt from the oil can get into them, and that causes them to react slowly. They don't engage with the variable valve timing system correctly, and you get a check engine light. So if you haven't already done it, first thing to do is plug an ODB reader into the port below the steering wheel on a right-hand drive car and see which code you're getting. Okay, if you haven't already located it, here is the ODB port. It's right in front of the brake rest. You can feel it, it's just in front of it there. Okay, so let's take a look at everything we're gonna to need today to do this job. Firstly, torque wrench. We're gonna to need to do these bolts on the solenoids back up to 6.4 newton meters or 4.7 foot pounds of torque. So get one within that operating range. We need a ratchet with an extension and a 10 mil socket. 10 mil spanner may also come in useful. A flathead screwdriver. Here's the new solenoid. Here's the new rubber row ring. And even though a lot of people reuse it, I've got here a brand new backup ring. I really don't want to do this job and then find I've got a leak and have to do it all over again. Now here's a diagram I put together which shows you which code is which control valve. In my case, I get a P000C code every two to three months. And this has been happening for the last year and a half. So I've accepted now it's not going to magically just go away and it needs replacing. First job is to pop the hood. We disconnect the math sensor and using a flat screwdriver, remove the pipework to the air box. My car has a supercharger and an oil cooler, so we'll probably look a bit different to the car you're working on. But rest assured, the air box and the oil control valves here are totally factory standard, and the same as those found in the GT86, BRZ and FRS if you're stateside. Take the 10mm socket wrench, and with an extension you can remove the three 10mm bolts from around the sides of the air box. Make sure you put everything you have removed somewhere safe so that no dirt can get into the mass sensor. Okay, so with the airbox out of the way, we can now see the four oil control valves. One there, one there, one there, and one there. Okay, so here's the one that I need to replace just below the oil filler. Two bolts and a connector, first thing to come off. You don't need to drain the engine oil to do this job, but I recommend leaving the car overnight to make sure it's cold. This means the two bolts should be easier to undo and also more oil will have run down into the sump which means less of it will leak out when you remove the control valve. So with both bolts removed and with the connector disconnected um, I'm going to now put some rag down here just to catch any oil leaks. Give it a little wiggle and there we go. Right so it's out. Okay so let me show you the difference between the old one I've just removed and the new one. Crazy, isn't it? See how slow that one is, whereas that one's really quick. Okay, gotta put the new one back in. So I'm gonna take the new sensor and I'm going to put the new backup ring on. Okay, then we just need the new O-ring. A quick clean of the hole before I go and insert the new control valve, nice and clean. And then the new control valve, you just push it in. Oh, that was satisfying. Bolts back in, and these need to be torqued 6.4 newton meters or 4.7 foot pounds of torque. Wiring connector back on, now we can reinstall the air box. Don't forget to reattach the mass sensor. And that's it, time to start it up, check for oil leaks. <laughs> Get it warmed up, see if we've got any leaks. So temperatures are up, oil pressure's really good, so I think we're good. Let's head back to the garage. Just got back from the test drive, everything's nice and warm, and I've already checked the engine, there's no leaks, so that's a job in the can. So I hope you liked this video, um, hope it was useful, and stay tuned for more how-to videos soon on Lead Follow. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>